it is time to get this started. So it is time to paint the interior of the 240. I'm gonna explain as I go through. Uh, by all means, it is not a professional job. There's a lot of stuff I didn't, you know, I'm not gonna cover up. And it, it's a budget drift build, you know, on a car. I don't have the thousands of dollars to put into it to make it look beautiful and perfect, but it's definitely gonna look better than what it is at the moment. It is absolutely disastrous what that looks like. Uh, I'm putting a piece of sheet metal up in the car as well, just to cover up the hole. It's not gonna be perfect. It's gonna be cut and it's probably gonna be all over the place. Just need to get it done. It, you know, later on, I am going to take apart the whole car again and completely redo it maybe next season when I know more, when I have more experience, when I have maybe, hopefully my own shop. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Also, don't forget to follow my Instagram. It'll be in a link down in the bio. I always post, you know, I'm always either posting car stuff or my upcoming videos of what I'm doing that day if I'm filming and everything else so you guys can kinda see that. coming out a lot better than I expected. I expected to like just bosh it up, just, you know, make it look halfway decent. But I mean like, like look at that. That's really not too bad. I mean, that's only like two cans. I'm gonna do like a ton, a ton, a ton of coats on this to make it look nice. Where the sound deadening is, actually it's turning yellow. I mean, what I'm gonna do is I'm just, I'm hoping with that, at least it seems, as the more coats go on. But honestly, I think after I get enough coats on here and, and then maybe get like a gloss finish after I'm done, it's really not gonna look that bad. I thought it was gonna be 10 times, 10 times worse than what it ended up being. So if you want it to look, you know, very professional, very nice, you're gonna be, sh you know, it's gonna be a show car, take your time. You know, I'm not because this is a budget drip build. Like I've said, uh, this is gonna probably be like a multi, you know, multi-day video only because I have work and it's during the week and I'm gonna try to get as much done as I can during the week. It's just I'm usually home, you know, four o'clock and in the winter it, it gets dark by that time. All of this, the reason I left that is because that piece of sheet metal will actually cover all the rest of that sound deadening that I left up top. Day two of painting the 240, which I should have had this in the first place. The storms we chase are leading us, and love is all we'll ever trust. This whole side of the of the car needs to be done. And I'm not gonna make you sit through it while I actually do it all. So I honestly did not expect the car to come out looking like it did. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna scrub everything down because there's a little bit of, you know, just overspray on, not overspray, but like just the dust from everything and a little bit of paint and stuff like that residue. So I'm gonna go and scrub everything down again, make it look nice and clean. My seat brackets for the Recaros will be in sometime this week. They will be going into the car and then more parts, front bumper, headlights need to be done. And that's gonna be kind of it on the outside. And then hydro e brake, angle kit, everything else are gonna come right before probably track. But we're getting somewhere. Um, we're finally moving on to constantly work on the car, make it look better. Obviously, it's a budget drift car, it's nothing crazy, and it's not meant to be perfect in any way of the sorts. It's gonna get thrashed around, full sand on the track. So maybe later on, maybe throughout the years of, you know, I plan on continuing YouTube, whether my channel gets big or not. It doesn't really matter for me. I do this for the fun of it. Also, to all of the new subscribers, thank you guys so much for subscribing to the channel and joining, you know, my crew and, and my builds and everything else because it's only going to get better from here. I'm, I'm starting to get better. And like I said, I just, I kind of just started. 
learning a bunch of stuff. But you guys are along for the ride with me, so you know it should be it should be a fun adventure. Then we get back to scrubbing it all down. I'll show you after what it looks like all scrubbed down. When I get my seat brackets and the rims and tires, those will be going on there. You'll be seeing that in one video. Always remember to please like and subscribe. It always helps out. You know, share the video, tell your friends about it, whatever. You know, someone that may like it. It really does help out, especially on uh, building a new channel and everything else with all these big channels being out there. So. You know that uh, I always appreciate you guys, and see you guys in the next video.